everybody, welcome to another video on the Pit Boss Pro Series Pellet Grill Smoking Series. We're going to be doing a beef chuck roast. Um, we're going to cook this really low and slow and shred it up for shredded beef. I've got my partner with me here today, my daughter Whitney. I made it through quarantine. <laughs> yeah, like how crazy is it right now with this whole coronavirus stuff going around? Um, I feel like we've been in the house a lot and the only trips I do is run to the grocery store to get meat to cook something on the grill. because. You know, you got to stay inside and social distance and all that kind of stuff. And I go just because I'm really bored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really bored. <laughs> she's from Louisiana <laughs> and left Louisiana just before it got crazy there. So I think it's good that she's here. Um, at least she's not where the number of well, counts are going up everywhere, quite frankly. It's amazing. All right. Yeah. So our secret ingredient for most things, you have it over there? It's we gonna be Rona free meat. We won't spray it on the meat, but man, it's like you need it for everything these days. But it's citrus flavored, it might be good. Sure. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a boneless um, chuck roast. This is actually was on sale. It's the reason why we got it at $2.99 a pound. It puts us a $36 cut of meat down to 16 bucks. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and we'll season it up. So we're gonna season this up. Um, it's actually five, a little over five pounds, this particular chuck roast. It's a pretty good size one. So you wanna season it up? Sure. This is just equal parts of salt, pepper, and garlic. Nice and easy. Yeah, pat it in there, rub it in. So that you rub on it, I will cover it up. There you go. Flip it, let's do the same. Flip it and reverse it. To the windows, to the backyard we go, because that's all we can flow. Next step is we're going to go ahead and fire up the grill at 225 degrees, and we're going to smoke this for about three hours. I'll come back and tell you the rest of the steps in just a little bit. So get your hands washed, and you can go ahead and fill it with pellets and start to grill. Okay. All right, so let's get the grill uncovered. We're going to fill it up with pellets, and we're going to start it up at 225. that I just dropped in here are Pit Boss Competition Blend pellets. So the Competition Blend is like a mix of a bunch of different hardwoods. It's the one that's the most readily available and frankly cheap. That big bag that we get is like eight bucks at you know, Wally World. So uh, it's easy to get, readily available, and it's good for almost any kind of meat. A lot of times when I do beef, I like to use mesquite, um, but I don't want that really uh, smoky flavor. So we're gonna go with this one today. So let's get it fired up at 225. So we'll fire it up. Uh, for anyone that hasn't used these before, you just hit the power button, it starts to glow blue, and then you turn the dial. The first click is the smoke setting. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. Uh, you'll hear the blower come on, and as soon as this thing um, begins to smoke, we're gonna turn it to 200 degrees, and then we'll put our meat on. Somebody commented on one of our videos a while back that we should always light this with the lid open, and while I agree with that with any kind of gas grill or something with a, uh, a flammable liquid with fumes in it, um, I don't know that that's the case with a pellet smoker, but look, better safe than sorry, I'll leave it open. So thanks for the tip for whoever that was that made the comment, and uh, probably better that people seeing us do something with a grill sees the lid open just in case they happen to be doing it with a gas grill, which would absolutely be dangerous. Alright, so now that this is to temperature, we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to move our meat. Then we're gonna go ahead and slap this bad boy right in the center. We're gonna let this go for three hours. We've had this in now for right at two hours, and after one hour at 225 degrees, we just came and spritzed it with a small squirt bottle with beef broth in it. I'm about to do the same thing, it's at the end of the second hour, and then we'll go ahead and let it sit for another hour at 225. Good. Let that keep going. All right, guys, it's been about three hours. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open this little feller.
we went ahead and put about two cups of beef broth on top of the chuck roast, which sit on top of the onions. We're just gonna put it back in the grill, turn the temperature up to 250. And we're so this is at 250. We're gonna put this in here uncovered until it gets to 165. Oh yeah. And we're gonna cook it until the internal temperature is at 165. Then we're gonna cover this thing up. So let's, get, let's do this until it's 165. I just checked, it's at about 136 right now. We have reached an eternal temperature of 165. We are gonna, gonna take and wrap the meat with our non-sponsored Reynolds wrap. It's fun. Now that we have this wrap, we're gonna cook it until it's about 200 degrees internal temperature. So we've got an internal temperature of 208 degrees on that covered uh, chuck roast. A couple of minutes ago, I came over here with a temperature probe and I just poked it right through the foil to make sure that the meat was really tender all the way through and just no resistance at all, which I think is a good sign. I didn't uncover it yet, so we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes after we take it off and we'll show you what it looks like. Let's go let this set, see how it looks. Oh yeah. See what kind of temperature we have now. So again, the idea is to make a shredded beef out of this, and if you take this and just pull, you can see it's just shredding right apart. So that's going to be good. We're going to give a couple of little tastes to this here in a minute. <laughs> right, Whitney's come by. I think she's ready to try it here in a second too. Oh, that's hot. It's got to toast it. Toast. Mm. We're gonna have some shredded some, beef. Some shredded beef. Yeah, you excited about that? Are you gonna eat it? No. <laughs> So this is pretty good. Uh, it'll be interesting to see when it shreds out, uh, since it's going to be sitting in all that juice, how much more flavor it picks up from all of that beef broth that's down in there. Uh, it's not overpowering with the salt, pepper, and garlic. It tastes pretty good. I can see us probably making this again. But let's get it shredded up and we'll make a sandwich or something out of it. I heard before, rather than using two forks to shred it, you can use a dough hook in a mixer with pork butt or this kind of chuck roast. And we decided to try it and it worked really, really well. So we made uh, pulled beef sliders, a little King's Hawaiian roll, a little bit of horseradish on the top, and the shredded beef. Give it a shot. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do a smoked and shredded beef um, chuck roast. Really good, really easy. It does take a good six to seven hours, at least, if you're doing a three to four pound one. Um, but well worth the wait and pretty darn simple. Bye y'all. See you next week. So I know, but when you do that, it doesn't work. The idea is to <laughs> actually let the sun in your eyes. That's why we moved over here. <laughs> These are all gonna be blue. <laughs> the, meat, the meat tampon. Pro series pellet thing. It's the fing meat cooker. F words, I can't use those. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, right? that song I what? Cover. I'm too sexy for my cover. <laughs> <laughs> the pellets that I just dropped in here are competition blend. Wait, what? <laughs>